Hi, my beautiful people. So today we're going to talk about the types of submissives you need to avoid. <laughs> there, there are quite a few. Okay. okay. So let's start from the list that first and foremost, avoid the time wasters. There's so many of them. Oh my God. There are so many of them, right? So time wasters, you will slowly, like with time, you'll be able to understand who they are. Like this but um just to help you give you a little bit of a heads up if someone is just kind of talking a little bit too much and be like okay so how much should i send oh is this okay mistress and blah blah, blah. and it's been like 10 freaking minutes they haven't sent they're a fucking time waster okay if you say like if a if a sub comes into your stream and you're like okay send five and they don't send five they're a time waster usually that is what i kind of like to do like in the beginning, send five. So I know that that person is a person that's gonna send. So then it kind of like chill and then we can talk and stuff and then slowly, okay? But I do like in the beginning to kind of do that. So I know that that person is someone that's gonna send, right? Or if it's through Twitter DMs, if they're messaging you and not fucking sending you initial tribute, they're not someone you wanna talk to because the initial tribute is for you to talk to them. Your time is not free, right? <laughs> Okay, of course, if they ask like one question, you can reply. Or if it's a regular, that's a different story, right? You don't need an initial tribute. But, you know, you're not just gonna like be talking to people for free. If they're not sending you an initial tribute and they're messaging you, just freaking block their ass. Or don't open the message, delete it. I just delete all of them. I don't even read them, right? Like, unless it's like I see something like sent goddess to blah, blah, I ain't freaking opening it or reading it. Like, it's you know, delete it. So don't waste your time. You're going to a lot of time on your posts, get messages or comments. Oh, mistress, I want to serve you. Oh, mistress, I want to follow. I want to be part of this or I want to whatever. Don't reply. <laughs> if they wanted to, they would, right? They, you have all your information in your bio. If a submissive can't like go to your bio and figure out how to send to you, then you're, they're not a submissive you wanna be talking to. Like either they're just so dumb that they can't even do the basics or they're just, which most probably is, are not really interested in sending to you. They're just selling you bull to the crap, bull crap. You get my drift. Okay, so don't, don't, don't waste your time. You don't want that kind of shit. Like that kind of incompetence is not fun. It's not funny. It's not interesting. It's just a waste of time. Now, a very important type of sub that you need to avoid are the guys that like to dom from the bottom, which usually they're fetishists. So they will try to tell you how to dom them, when to dom them, how to dom them again, um, because they're trying to fulfill a specific dom fantasy. And that is, those are kind of people that you don't really want to, <sighs> just thinking about it tires me out, interact with. They're just so tiring and so exhausting. And it's not like they will send a lot. They'll send like nothing. So like very like pocket change. Okay, like 50, maybe, maybe tops 100. You don't want to freaking like waste your time with them, right? Like either this is how I dom. If you don't like it, that is fine. You can go somewhere else. Like we're not going to play this game where you're doming from the bottom. That's no. Gracias. Thank you. No. And the other part, the other type of subs that you want to avoid are the ones that are kind of into race play, age play, those kind of very problematic kinks, okay, for obvious reasons. Of course, um, the problematic kinks like race play, age play, you want to avoid them for ethical reasons, I would hope, <laughs> please. Um, I, don't, I don't think I actually need to like say why, it's obvious. Now, finally, there are some types of submissives that are into specific kinks that are a little bit dangerous on the dangerous side. I would suggest if you don't have experience with it, with them, if you don't have knowledge on them, if you cannot see the submissive, blah, 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 don't take part in it. But that is my suggestion. I cannot really control you. So, <laughs> yeah. So one, which I would say stay away from the first one which i will say to stay away from for legal reasons is blackmail 
you basically kind of they give you their information and you blackmail blackmail them to give you money or do things like that's your kink i would suggest to stay away from it for legal reasons because you can get in trouble second one or these two kind of go together because they can become dangerous uh, is forced intox intoxication and cbt if you write in google cbt bdsm it'll pop up what it is okay those two if you're not experienced with it if you cannot see the submissive generally i would suggest to stay away if you feel comfortable taking part make sure that you're checking up on your submissive make sure you don't do too much too fast okay um uh, make sure that also to place a boundary when you think the other person is too like far off or too it's too much make sure you place that boundary and you cut it off and you're like no more that's it for tonight next time okay that's very important that is part of you being a dom you need to be placing the boundaries um if you because you need to remember submissives don't just come to you to do their fetishes they come first and for foremost they come to you for guidance they don't a lot of them don't realize it but that's why they're re like they want a dom right guidance boundaries um so you need to make sure that you're being responsible and as i said if you're not experienced if you don't if you can't see them blah blah blah, blah, blah do not do it you don't need to do every kink okay Finally, very important for you as a dom is to avoid submissives that don't respect your boundaries. Crazy. But submissives that don't respect your boundaries, try to push your boundaries, don't understand the word no, are not submissives you want to be interacting with. If you see that a submissive doesn't understand the word no once, twice, three times, and after you've told them like, you've gave it, given them a warning and they just keep doing it or keep going, then um, like cut them off. You're like, this is done, find someone else, right? You don't want people generally in your life that don't respect your boundaries. And that also goes for submissives. If you have placed a boundary with a dom and they are not respecting that boundary or you've put a limit and they're not respecting that limit, leave, okay? So make sure that you are respecting another person's boundaries. Make sure that you are also respecting your boundaries. Those are very important elements. If you have any questions, make sure to leave them in the comments down below and I will see you next time. Remember to follow, subscribe, all that jazz. It will really help me out. And I will see you next time. Adios amigos, bye.